Welcome to the Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. One of our sisters, her name was Malaysia Booker. She was only 23 years old. This story has been reported basically about three hours ago and 49 minutes. A transgender woman who was assaulted was captured on video, fatally shot on Saturday, which means yesterday. Malaysia Booker, 23 years old, was shot and killed on Saturday morning in Dallas. Now, the transgender woman who April assault in Dallas parking lot went viral, was shot and killed on Saturday morning, police say. Dallas police say that they found Malaysia Booker, 23 years old, of a apparent gunshot wound on 7200 block of Valley Glen Drive around 6.40 a.m. on Saturday. Police say that they had not made any arrests in connection of Booker's death and could not say on Sunday whether the assault and the shooting was related. Booker, Booker, who was assaulted in the parking lot of Royal Crest Apartments in the 3500 block of Wilhurt Avenue on April the 12th, the assault was captured on video and shared on social media. Check this out. Okay. Dallas police flagged it as a possible hate crime. Now, police say that Booker told them that she had a minor car accident in Atherwood was assaulted by several people. Police arrested 29-year-old Edward Thomas on April the 14th in connection with the assault. The arrest warrant released the day after Thomas' arrest was said after the minor car crash. Several, pe including, several people, including Thomas, crowded around Booker and the driver of the second vehicle. Thomas was accused of repeatedly punching Booker while calling her derogatory names according to the arrest warrant. The case is certainly disturbing Dallas Police Lieutenant Vincent Weddington, commander of the Crimes Against Person Unit, said after Thomas' arrest, the video shocks the conscience of anyone who looks at the video and it is something that the Dallas Police Department takes seriously. Thomas later admitted to the role of beating, but he didn't, but, didn't, but denied call her derogatory names according to the affidavit. The FBI confirmed to that Thomas arrest that Dallas police um, contacted the agency to help determine the case rose the level of federal hate crime. The FBI will not confirm if it was an open or formal investigation. Weddington said on Sunday that Thomas was no longer in jail and police did not know his whereabouts. However, there has nothing to connect Thomas to Booker's death, Wennington said. Booker murder is not currently being investigated as a hate crime, police say. Now, I want to share this video with you, y'all. Check this out. A woman, Malaysia Booker, reportedly suffered a broken wrist and a concussion. Mm -hmm can stand before you, whereas in other scenarios, we are at a memorial. 23-year-old Malaysia Booker, a transgender woman, was attacked last Friday outside Royal Crest Apartments on Wilhurt Avenue in South Dallas. Cell phone video caught the incident. Multiple people can be seen punching and kicking Booker's face, head, and body. Bystanders watched, and according to police, homophobic slurs were used. Today, surrounded by supporters, Booker spoke publicly. This has been a rough week for myself, the transgender community, and also the city of Dallas. But I want to sincerely thank all you guys for coming out by your support and fairness. And just as I'm overwhelmed by your presence, your donation to support of my transgender family and allies who want to see justice served in this case, I will remain strong with your support. I will not make any further comments today except for gratitude. Police arrested Edward Thomas, one of the suspects in the video, for aggravated assault. According to the arrest warrant, someone told Thomas he would receive $200 to beat the victim. No justice! Yes! Activists are calling for Thomas to be charged with a hate crime. Dallas police say they have asked the FBI if this is such a case. State Representative Jessica Gonzalez. An attack on, on one of us is an attack on all of us. 
and together we will continue to fight against the hate that continues to plague our communities. Thank you. After speaking, Malaysia was helped off stage by support. On Saturday, May 18th at approximately 6.40 a.m., the Dallas Police Department responded to a shooting call at 7200 Valley Glen Drive. Upon arrival, officers found the complainant lying face down in the street, deceased from homicidal violence. At the time of the call, the victim was unidentified. Today, at approximately 3 p.m., the victim was positively identified as Malaysia Booker. On April 12, 2019, between the hours of 5 p.m. and 6 p.m., victim Malaysia Booker was assaulted by several males. This assault occurred at 3558 Wilford Avenue, Dallas, Texas. This incident was captured on video and made national news. Subsequent to that offense, the Dallas Police Department made one arrest for felony assault. The department is still attempting to identify others who participated in the assault. The department is actively investigating this offense and we are encouraging the public to come forward with information to bring closure to both of these offenses. Thank you. Yes. At the time that Dallas police responded to the call, the the victim had no identifiers on their person. It was after the medical examiner uh, was able to positively identify our victim, and we were informed that the victim was in fact Malaysia Booker. Do you have any Seventy-two hundred block of Valley Glen Drive. No, no, not at all. No, sir. We had a call for service. It was a call. A shooting call was broadcast, and officers responded to that call. No, in the original offense that occurred on April 12th, there were several people seen on the Facebook video assaulting Malay Booker. We made one arrest and we're still attempting to identify other people that were seen assaulting Malaysia in the video. Edward Thomas is currently not in the Dallas County Jail. And we, we're unaware of his whereabouts. There's nothing at this time to connect Mr. Edward Thomas and the offense that occurred yesterday. Okay. All right, thank you, Dr. Are we ready? Good evening. I'm Avery Moore, um, Assistant Chief, Dallas Police Department. And first of all, I'd like to thank you for coming out on a Sunday evening. I know it was difficult, but we really do appreciate it. Um, as you know, this month we have suffered a substantial number of homicides, um, 23 to be exact. Um, but before I get into that, first I would like to acknowledge the families um, that have been impacted by this senseless violence. It's very difficult for us as a department um, not to grieve with the families. Um, it's difficult when any family or community loses a loved one. And I just want them to know that the Dallas Police Department is sensitive to that. We understand that and we share your concern as well as your grief. So I want you to know that you're in our thoughts and that you're in our prayers. And I also want to thank you that in spite of your pain that you have worked with our investigators um, to help us solve these murders. As it stands right now, um, through diligent work from my investigators, um, we have been able to solve about 77% of these homicides 
The national rate is only 59%, so we're far and above that. And again, without the help of the community, without the help of the families, without the help of witnesses, we wouldn't be able to accomplish that. By no means is our work done. Out of the 23 homicides, we've only solved 18, which is great, but that means there's five that are left unsolved. So I ask you that if you have any information pertaining to any of these homicides, that you please reach out to us um, and help us as you have in the past. And again, we really appreciate it. It is the Dallas Police Department's policy that we actively pursue murder suspects. We as a department hold human life dearly and precious, as should everybody, but we recognize that not everybody does. So speaking directly to them, I want you to know that the Dallas Police Department has never tolerated murder and we never will. So understand that we will actively, aggressively pursue you. We need the help of the community and that will be our directive. I also want the community to know that these acts of violence are singular. Um, it's not by a serial person. Um, we've had one that had a gang nexus to it. We've had two that have had a drug nexus. Um, one involves a transgender victim, um, and all of them are unacceptable. We, the Dallas Police Department, take crime serious. We do have a summer initiative that will be laid out later this week by Chief Anderson, but understand that as an investigative team, that our investigators are dedicated, they're committed, and they're probably the most talented investigators in the country. Thus again is why our clearance rate is so high. If you have any information that can be of value and that can assist us, I ask that you call us at 214-353-TIPS or 214-353-8477. At this time, I'll take any questions. Well, as Major Reddington said, we did not know um, there was a connection at the time that Miss Booker was discovered to be deceased on yesterday morning. Um, when we made that or got information about that um, identification being positive, um, this is why we call this press conference. We recognize that hate crimes, if you will, are a serious topic. We at the Dallas Police Department take them serious, and it's just unacceptable. Um, and as I stated earlier, we have the best investigative team in the country, and we will find the perpetrators. Um, I have no reason to say that or not. Um, it just, it is what it is. A person lost their life, a family's grieving, and we as the Dallas Police Department think that's unacceptable. Have you been able to figure out anything about the circumstances leading up to it, where she was in the hours before the shooting call? No, ma'am, we have not. Any other questions? More questions? Anyone with information about this case is asked to call Detective Christopher Evans at 214-671-3584 or you can email him at Christopher.Evans at dpd.cidallas.texas.us. Like I said before, call him. I think it'd be more better if that works for you. Detective Christopher Evans at 214-671-3584. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you can always email him. And this way you can try to help, try to bring the, um, the killer to justice. Now remember, this girl was only 23 years old and she was apparently gunshot wound at 7200 block of Valley Glen Drive around 6.40 a.m. on a Saturday, which is basically yesterday. You know, and the family in my prayers and stuff. <sighs> now, the sad part about it, it, it was she was jumped by so many different people, so they don't really know where to blame the victim. 
I'm not the victim, the accuser. She was jumped. And the thing about it is the guy was let out. Now he was let out of he was let out of jail. And now she's dead. Now I understand we may say, well, maybe he did it. That would be easy to just pick point it to him, but they're saying that there is no lead saying that he did it only because it was so many people that jumped, you know, um, that jumped her. Edward Dominique Thomas, he was 29 years old and he was arrested back then about 9.30 p.m. on that sat Sunday and charged with an aggravated assault causing seriously bodily injury two days after the attack, which was recorded on the video. Now, they said the police say that a man was accused of attacking a transgender woman on that Friday when that time clicked off and East Oak was offered $200 to beat her. So, I don't know. It's so many different levels and stuff. Now, if he was offered $200 to beat her, then that lets you know that there's more people involved when it comes to this girl's murder. So, they don't really know where to start. However, if you may have seen anything, if somebody ever said anything, this is up to you to speak out. Because you never know when your turn comes or you never know when this happens to you. And they're asking for anyone, they're asking for the police, the public to join in to help. You know, a lot of times you can help out with just saying, you know what, I've seen this or something. And you call the detective Christopher Evans at 214-671-3584. Like I said, you can email him and stuff if that makes works for you. It's just so horrible. And all I can say is rest in peace, Malaysia Booker, 23 years old, rest in peace. And the family in my prayers. This is all I'm asking y'all to do is share this video. I did my part. All I need y'all to do is the rest. She was only 23 years old. And now she's dead, murdered. The first time she got jumped, it was a cry for help. Second time, no more crying. Now, now they got a barrier. So please be careful out there in Dallas, Texas and stuff because clearly you definitely have a killer on the loose. And like I said before, share the video. Let's make it go viral the same way you made it go viral with the girl being murdered. Let's try to do, make the right of what's been wrong done to this beautiful woman that's been taken from this world. It's senseless. Senseless murder. Anyway, I love you guys. Share the video, like, subscribe, share, let y'all love you, and thank you for watching Kiss 3.